YouTube! Name's Rowan Oki. Worth your time. I might even be funny, but today what we're going to be doing is playing a story about my uncle, which is something that I just heard about, and it's basically a platformer in which your uncle has gone missing. Ooh. And you have to swing through these wide open platform areas with this grappling hook, and I'm really excited to see how it goes. So let's just let's just hop into this thing over here. New game. All right. How do I do anything? I guess I'll find out. Dad? Aren't you sleeping yet? It's time for bed, honey. Dad, oh. I can't sleep. Can you tell me a bedtime story? All right. What do you want to hear? Something... something about an adventure. Like Treasure Planet. Hmm. I think Please I tell me it's Treasure Planet. Please tell me it's Treasure Planet. I loved that. When Please I was tell age, me that. Oh. My biggest dream was to follow my Uncle Fred on one of his adventures around the world. To Treasure Planet? One day, he disappeared. <gasps> oh no. Oh. Oh, here we are. Okay, I have the mouse down. Forward. I stepped yeah. into the lobby of my uncle's house. It Indeed lay I just did. across the hill from where I lived with my mother, your grandmother. She had tried to keep me from going, but I wanted to see see if Fred was home yet from his latest adventure. Don't forget, turn off turbine, oven, reactor, and lights. Turbine. Okay. You know, if I had the resolution up, this would probably be better, but my current... Oh, I can zoom. Okay, what does this thing say? Beep. I can't read it any better. Let's see. Hello. Yeah, it would probably be better if I turned the resolution up, but like my computer is absolute crap right now, so it won't do that. Oh, that thing is glowing. Hello. My uncle used to send me postcards from his long journeys. Did he? Greetings from Nepal, Galapagos, Kilimanjaro, the Amazon River. Ooh. This was the first time he had left without a word, without sending cards. Oh no. No cards. How could he do such a thing? That monster! Now what am I looking for? Fanatic Frederick's disposal style, I don't care. I'm on into- Ooh! I have visited Uncle Fred's house countless of times. Oh. But in the locker, which usually was closed, I found something I hadn't seen before. Are those? It was an adventure suit. It resembled the one that Fred used, but smaller in size. Is it for me? Curiosity got the better of me, and I tried it on. It fit like it had been custom made for me. Probably because it was for me. Ooh, okay, that's interesting. Grappling hook. Mm, you. Okay. I'm pretty sure this isn't supposed to be a horror game, but that literally just scared the absolute crap out of me. All right, up the stairs. The most mysterious room of my uncle's house was the observatory. Ooh. There he kept his newest experiments, and right now it held a pad used for disposing of garbage. Uncle Fred had warned me not to touch any of his things, but as I said, I was a curious child. Okay, so it's not you looking for your uncle, it's a story about your dad looking for his uncle. Or maybe you are the dad? I don't know. He said don't touch, I'm gonna touch it. Boop! <laughs> I don't like that sound. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Am I being disposed of? Am I gar <laughs> garbage? I'm being d out the disposal with the rest of the garbage. Whee! Oh! Intro. Okay. I like it. I like it a lot. 
It's trying so hard. Oh. I landed with a crash, but thanks to the suit, I wasn't hurt. I, had I would no hope idea not. Idea where the pad had taken me, but back then, I didn't care so much about where I was going <laughs> or Whee! how I would get home. Your progress. Oh. All right, my progress has been saved. The suit protected me from falls on the ground, but not in water. But not in I water. I swim with this thing on. Best be careful. Are you sure about that? Are you absolutely certain? I'm gonna try it. I can swim. Watch me, fuckers. Ha <laughs> Oh. I guess I not only can't swim, but I can't look at the water too hard. What? Yay! Ooh. I like this a lot so far. Boom. Oh, that's interesting. I was sure. So it doesn't charge very much. Been here before me. Someone had built these bridges and carved these symbols, but who? Where were they now? Yeet! Oh, that's awesome. I found a strange gizmo. Some gizmo. sort of measuring tool that Fred must have built. It Did seemed to know? be done measuring, though, so I took the results to give to Fred. Yeet. Unfortunately, I'm going to say that a lot. Somebody should kill me. Dope. Down I go. Wow. Wow. I suck at this. Charge, jump. Got it. I was not about to overshoot that. Ooh. A choice. I'm gonna go this way. Stuff. <laughs> Oops. Wait a minute. The arrow's pointing that way. So now I'm gonna go the other way. Because that's how you're supposed to play these games. Gah! This is so outrageously cool. Eh. Yeah, look, there's a tiny rock. Can I land on the tiny rock? I don't want to try it. Oh. Ah. <laughs> ah. Man! Man! Why can't I do that? Alright, it's slow and steady, I guess. With my weird flexing hand of... It's kind of strange. Now where? Whee! Oh, all right. The power core I found activated the suit's grappling device when I picked it up. It must have been left here by my uncle. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, I like that a lot. It'll light up when I'm in range to grapple. Yay! This the is... grappling device left a sort of symbol everywhere I grappled. I noticed similar symbols already there in the cave. Oh. I was getting more and more certain that this place was where Fred had gone. Yeah. Ha ha. Combine the power jump and the grapple to reach higher areas. Oh. 
Ho, ho. Here it goes. <clears throat> this is insanely cool. Alright, let's see. I don't think I was supposed to do that. Anyway. So it just... Ah! It just leaves a little mark everywhere. Okay. Ah, shit. Damn it. So I can grapple onto any surface, not just those icons. Okay. This is an incredibly cool concept. I love this. Well, I would love it more if I wasn't dying every time I did it, but you know, hey, we get beggars can't be choosers. I can make that jump. Hang on. Charge up my power jump. Yay! Haha. -ha. Oh. When grappling a moving object, you will follow along. Ah! Ah! Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing this is going to be, like, really, really hard later on. I just feel like an absolute idiot right now. All right. Yeah! All right. Onward! Ah, dang it. Woo! Oh, this is... This is awesome. Don't be sad. It's okay. Ah, shit. Damn it. <laughs> Alright. Where you at? Here. Oh, oh, too far. I don't want to be on top. I want to go through the cave. Caves are nice. Okay. Oh. Ah! Okay. I love these symbols on the ground telling me exactly where I need to go. You know, it's great. Alright, here we go. Oh, come on. Ah! Dang it. Why'd you do this to me? <laughs> no, it's so far! <laughs> Where am I supposed to go? Good. Don't let go, Jack! Ah! Okay. Haha, I can grapple two times before I land. Dang it! And I used both of them to die! I... am confused. There we go. Less confused. Just gonna sprint along here. Ooh, oh. Okay. Lit. 
it's lit. Shows how much you have left. Yay! Oh, I messed that up real bad. Dang it. Man, I suck. Go forth. Onward. Yes. It's another gizmo thing. This weird beeping noise. Ah, haha. Haha, -ha. I'm getting the hang of this. I don't suck so bad. It's a lie, I suck so much. That power jump thing is pretty interesting, though. Okay. Whee! More super amazing architecture. And, as always, we ignore the arrows. Frog eggs eventually. Get away from there. They told me that they were very, very special, but I don't know nope, what nope. happened to them. Nope, 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 nope. I am not game. Not game with that. Now what am I? Ah. All right. Okay. Ugh, this giant creepy crawlies. Ew. No! Come! Ah! I was trying to click! No! Charge up the power jump this time first, then, I guess. There. Whee! Alright. Making progress, making progress. Learning, learning. That's right. Spin me around. That pfft, crap. Well, I appear to have failed. Charge up that power jump here. And... Oh, so this thing goes the entire circle. I just threw myself to another rock on the... Okay, I'm stupid. Again. Ah! What? Hap... <laughs> Alright, so I managed to avoid death. Narrowly. What's over here? Mm, these blue lights... Did Fred put them here? Or was somebody else here as well? I don't know. I don't want to find out either. Oh. Hello. Hello. Should I be worried for my good old pal Fred? I can't run. Hello. I mean, Fred must have been super safety conscious because if he built this sh stuff too, then I mean, he put fences everywhere. So, super worried for his nephew Hello. to be falling off. Of Who are whoa, you? whoa! Who the? You're how... not from here. I wow. guess I'm. I'm you not. You look just like Fred, but smaller and with less hair on your face. <laughs> okay. She knew Fred. She does know Fred. I told her that he was my uncle, and that I was looking for him. What is on your? What's an uncle? What? What's I said that he was, that I had known him all my life. What are? Really? Me too. I'll help you find him. Foot fingers. I'm Madeline. The others call me Mad Maddie sometimes. I don't know you... why, really. 
but you can call me Maddie. Okay. You've Hi, Maddie. You've to the village, right? Let's meet over there in the square. I'll show you around. I bet you that... can get there easily with your suit thing. So, I'll see you there. And... I couldn't believe it. An underground village inhabited by frog people. Or more like salamanders. She just jumped off. Either way, Should I be worried? They, they walked like humans. They talked like humans. How is that possible? We. Oh, yep, missed that. Oops. I missed again. I bet you can get over there easy with your suit thing on. Yeah, yeah, that would be wonderful, except for the fact that I can't do anything in this game right. Ah, son of a... All right, come on. Let's just leap and go to the island directly. How about that? How about them apples? Gah. Yeah, screw all those platforms. Fly there directly. My myself. All right. Okay. So this isn't as hard as I thought it was. I'm just making it worse for myself because I suck. Is this the village? Hello? Hey. Hey? Who? Hey. Hey who? Over Hi. here. Hi. Yes, I found you. Hi. Welcome to my village. This is okay, the town thanks. square, and that over there is Fred's tent. I haven't seen him in a few days though. Maybe our elder Samuel knows where he is. He knows a lot of stuff. Mostly boring stuff, if you ask me. But it's worth a try. Before asking him, though, you should check out the village. It's not so bad. Unless you have to stay for too long. When you're done, go to the island with the windmill. And you'll see Samuel's Cove from there. I'll go on ahead and tell him that you're coming. He's not much for surprises. Later! Okay. I thanked Madeline and agreed to meet her later. Yeah, it thanks. Was strange. I'll see you later. How could I talk to someone who was not even human and still feel like it was perfectly normal? Got a problem, bro? You'll go ahead and tell him I'm coming, okay? Sure. I have no idea where I am. Wake up. I am your new god. Hark how I standeth upon the flames and am not burnt. Dude's like, what is he doing? <laughs> I'm getting out of here. This is weird. <laughs> okay. It looked like most oh, of the shacks in that. the village were built That's out the of windmill. trash. Trash from our world. There's the... It was, after all, a garbage disposal pad that took me here. Okay, so I'm trying to get to the windmill island, so I need some hefty jumping abilities. Or, what's up there? Home sweet home. Oh, so here's his tent. For how long had Fred been gone? I'm not sure. A couple of months, I think. Less than half a year for sure. So he's I just been gone. with him the summer before. But when I counted the days in his journals and from when I last saw him, it didn't make sense. Maddie said that she had known him all her life. Maybe she meant it figuratively. Figure... Like 
she didn't really mean it. Like, when you say you'll die if you don't get a puppy for your birthday. That's true, though. <laughs> I'm sorry. High five, buddy. Of course it is. Look at me. I got five fingers. You got five toe fingers. We can make this work. And just psh. Here, I got just psh. high five. Great. Pleasure doing business with you. Now, please don't look at me. It's creepy. Alright, so... Up, 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 up. Up, up, up. Interesting painting. These people are fairly advanced for a society of frog people, I guess. Where am I trying to go again? I'm trying to get to the... Ah! The windmill. Which is... Over there. There we go. Boink. Huh. Did Fred have any kids of his own? Nope. Not that I know of. He lived alone. He didn't really have any time for a family, I guess. He was I always away or busy with his inventions. He could be gone for months at a time. I never knew how soon I would see him again. Don't you think he felt lonely then? I think he was too caught up in his projects to feel lonely. It seems like he found new friends in the village though. Maddie seemed to be especially fond of him, taking after all that he did. Maybe Fred was is like that Fred? a father to her. She Why is everybody whistling? Father, right? If she was born from an egg. That's right. That's another uh, thing we had in common. Is that a... No! I need to zoom in! I need to look at my Game Boy Color over here. With the Legend of Zelda on it. That's awesome. Alright, so I made it to the Windmill Island. Alright, Windmill Island where you should be able to see his cove. Is that his cove over there? Nope. I feel like I messed this up, but it's going okay now. Yeah, I messed this up because I was supposed to have another one to get to that. Well, down I go. Yeah, I think that's his cove. Because over this way, yes, we have the island and the cove. All right, so if we just jump ourselves on over here. Oh my gosh. Or we don't do that, and we look like an absolute idiot because we can't play the game. Oh my... Okay. It's all good. It's all fine. I have to make it across here. I need to talk to Mr. Elder Person. Boink. Alright. Mr. Elder Person. How do you do? Looks like you and I have got some things to talk about. Like the geopolitical situation in Libya. Or something. I think I'm going to go over here first. It seems safer. Whee! Doink. Alright. I got this. I can do this. You're Geronimo! Ah! Boink. Lack of boss. Oh. A stranger in our halls. Welcome. You have a magnificent our beard, sir. Samuel, and we will do our best to assist you. Our? Please tell us what brings you here. I told him that I was looking for my Uncle Fred. We should help. Do you know where he is? Of course Red he doesn't. Without a word. If you aspire to find him, we can share with you a sacred crystal, a power core. Fred used their kind to power his suit. You can have it if you return our Fred to us. The crystal? He's my right. Fred. Madeline, that was inappropriate. Well, no, it wasn't. She's as excited as necessary. 
The crystal is not for She's you. She's as excited as I am. I was trying to I read and to talk at the same time. Fred. Why couldn't I? Please, Madeline, that is impossible. None of us may enter the chasms. It is too dangerous. What's the danger? If Fred can do it, so can I. I say this for your own protection, Madeline. You are forbidden from entering the chasms. Just because you're afraid of what's outside the village doesn't mean I am. I'm nothing like you. I'll never be. Uh, uh. I apologize. Uh. It is true that we want to keep her safe. But she does not understand. Uh. Behind us is the power core. Take it and go into the chasms. Find Fred. And if is you that... see Madeline, take care of her. That's, that sounds a lot like parent-child relationship right there for somebody who supposedly doesn't have any parent. Is that hands? No, those are forks. Okay, so, uh, okay. All right, now where? I felt a little uneasy about moving on into the chasms. If it was too dangerous for Maddie, would it be safe enough for me? Okay, so where am I going? Am I going that way? I mean, it seems like that's the only way that I can go. Ah! Ha ha! Ha ha! No! Er! Er! God! Blah. Okay. We're good. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I made it though. I'm gonna keep making it. Making it. Oh, another gizmo! Rip that bugger off. Belongs to me. Now, ah, up there. That! Not that! Okay, <laughs> we made it. We're good. I hear that buzzy. Haha! -ha. Haha! -ha. Found you. Rip. Mine. Anyway, save point. Okay. I don't know actually what's the point of collecting these things other than the fact that then you know they they're important and they beep or something. Who knows? Um. Rock child! Save me! God dang it. Okay, so I have to grab onto this thing first. And then one of the rock children that's moving away from me too fast. Dang it. How do I... Okay. Here we go. Make it! Make it! Okay. Darkness swept Good. over me as I left the glittering lights in the village behind me and headed for the ominous shadows of the chasms. Did I win? Alright. So, that was the beginning of the story about my uncle. I hope that you liked it. I think that I probably could have played it a little bit better. Except that I suck. So, anyway, that's it. I'm going to start off the chasms in the next episode. And I hope that you guys keep coming back for more. I don't have a sign-off shtick yet. I mean, yeah, I have no idea how to end this thing other than to say that, you know, have a nice night, day, evening, have a nice time zone, and I'll see you next time. Peace.